Okay, so as you see here, I went ahead and went and drew both diagrams. Now, this is where I don't want us to get confused, and by the way, you're going to want to pause the video real quick and um, get this drawn because I'm not going to talk about it for very long, but this is the one we just drew together, and the summer for the northern hemisphere over here is on the right side because the northern hemisphere is tilted toward the sun. If you'll go down here, this is what I was wanting to point out that now on the right side just of this diagram, since we're pointing away from the sun, we're actually experiencing winter on the right, and so we'll be in summer on the left. I don't want this to confuse you. I know it's kind of weird, and especially since it's new, but what I'm wanting you to do is make sure you're actually looking at the picture. What is the diagram showing you? And don't just get used to summer's always on the right, because there very well could be a diagram where they drew it this way and summer is over here on the left. So you just need to be making sure you're paying attention to which hemisphere is leaning toward or away from the sun. Now we're going to add one more concept. So if you will, turn the page. Oh, you can see I use this notebook for a lot of stuff, so that's here. I'm going to go to this page. And I'm going to title this page, Day and Night During Seasons. So day and night during seasons. I don't know if you notice, but day and night don't exactly start and stop at the same time each day as we go through the seasons. Sometimes it gets darker earlier, sometimes it gets darker later. So we're going to figure out why that happens. And we've got two vocab words, and then I'm going to make you a little table. So what we're actually going to do is I'm going to turn my notebook this way. Let's see if I can get it on the screen. Okay. And I'm going to set it up. I'm going to work kind of backwards. So I'm going to set up up here. I'm going to come write some stuff down, and then we're going to come fill in this table. So we're going to figure out what do day and night look like during each of the four seasons. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to start with summer. I think I always start with summer because it's my favorite season. After summer, we go into fall. After fall is winter. And then after winter is spring. I didn't space mine out very well. You may want to do a better job at that. So, summer, fall, winter, spring. Now, you may have heard the words equinox and solstice. So we're going to define those really quick down here towards the bottom. So the first word we're defining is equinox. E-Q-U-I-N-O-X. Equinox. So whenever I see this E-Q-U in a word, it makes me think of equal. And I hope that it makes you think of equal also because that will help you remember what the equinox is. The equinox happens twice a year. And it's when both hemispheres, so your northern and your southern hemisphere, experience equal amounts of day and night. So we're going to write that down. When both hemispheres experience... Can you still see that? Nope. Equinox is when both hemispheres experience equal amounts of day and night. Which means on these two days of the year, the northern and the southern hemisphere both get 12 hours of daytime and 12 hours of nighttime. So equinox equal. Then on the opposite end of the spectrum, we have what we call a solstice which also happens twice a year. And the solstice is going to be whenever your, the sun is either at the highest point in the sky for us at noon or it's going to be at the lowest point. And so what that's going to result in is we're either going to have the longest day of the year or the shortest day of the year. So let's write that. When the sun is either at its highest or lowest. 
Can you still see this? Almost highest. Or lowest point at noon. Which leads to the longest or shortest days of the year. Now, whenever we say the longest or shortest days of the year, please keep in mind we still have 24 hours every single day. Okay, the length of our day doesn't actually change. So when we're talking longest or shortest day of the year, what we mean is how much sunlight do we get? The longest day of the year on that solstice, we get the most sunlight that day that we will out of the entire year. And the shortest day of the year means we get the least amount of sunlight on any day that whole year. So when do we have an equinox and when do we have a solstice? We're gonna pop back up to our seasons, summer, fall, winter, and spring. So, the equinox, whenever you have equal, equal amounts of day and equals amount, amounts of night, those are gonna happen in the fall and in the spring. So we have a fall equinox and we have a spring equinox. Um, also, keep in mind that fall, there's two words for our season fall and it's also autumn. So you could see an autumn equinox. So remember that those are interchangeable. So the equinox means that both hemispheres, you're gonna have 12 hours of daylight and 12 hours, uh, 12 hours of nighttime. Now the weird part is because Earth's revolution around the sun is not exact, um, it's 365.25 days is how long a year technically is. So these dates can shift a little bit. So during the fall equinox, because by the way, you're gonna have to know the dates. Fall equinox usually happens Actually, it always happens in September, but the actual date can be anywhere from September 20th through the 23rd. And then same with the spring equinox, that's gonna happen for us in March between the 20th and the 23rd. Okay, so spring and fall are equinoxes, 12 hours a day, 12 hours of night equal. Then over here, summer and winter, these are gonna be our solstices solstice, solstice, which makes sense. Right now we're in winter, so if you notice, like when I get up to go to work, it's still dark, and then a lot of times when I get home from work, it's already dark again. So we're having less amounts of daylight in winter than you do in summer. In summertime, the sun comes through my window and wakes me up early, whether I want to or not, and then it stays light really late into the evening. So for summer, the summer solstice is gonna be our longest day of the year. So this happens in June, sometime between the 20th and the 23rd. And then our winter solstice is my worst nightmare because I love summer. Winter solstice is the darkest day of the year. You have the most nighttime hours and that's gonna be in December. Again, sometime between the 20th and the 23rd. So, summer solstice, we have the most amount of light time. Fall equinox, they're equal. Then as you shift seasons, you go to winter and you get your shortest day of the year. Then you shift again and you're going to spring where they're equal, which makes sense because then right after spring, we're gonna be shifting to summer with the most daytime, shifting to equal, shifting to the most dark, shift to equal, shift to daytime. So it's all just a cycle that happens over and over every single year.